Morning. How are we? I think we need to say afternoon. All right then. <laughs> afternoon. How are we? We had a bit of a late night last night, so yes. we've had a lay in this oh, morning. Oh yes, we had a nice lay in this morning. <laughs> um, but we've woke up very hungry, and I hear that Lisbon have got some amazing foods. And we can't wait to get stuck in. Oh yeah. So we're here in Time Out Market, Lisbon, and uh, we're going to try some of your Portuguese croquettes. Yeah, we've got queijo. Queijo, which is cheese here in Portugal. We've got these two Ooh, from, right. uh, what's the place called? It's a croqueteria here croqueteria. In, the, in the Time Out Market, yeah. They look a little bit overcooked. <laughs> they do, but, but... They actually feel, look, they go soft. Really soft, soft and light. Look how wet and gooey it is in the middle. Let's get stuck in. Hmm. Is that nice? Mm hmm. Oh, wow. So cheesy, a little bit sweet, yeah. warm, gooey, Ooh. melts in your mouth, and the outer casing is just nice and crispy. Oh, wow. So, Corin reckons they taste better than they look. But look at that. I was expecting that to be hard, and but that is just. Oh. So, croquettes are usually potato, aren't they? But potato yeah. based. This has got queijo, looks like a lot of it. Mmm. That's lovely. That's a surprise because they don't look that nice. No. Pow! Real bang of cheese, really intense cheese flavour. Yeah, it's a little sweet. Um, a bit like um, cheese puffs, they've got that intense cheesy flavour, but they're lovely. Crunchy on the outside, but gooey in the middle. They're so gooey, They're guys. so gooey. What a surprise. Delicious. Time out market. Mmm. Always busy, but you must come. Mm. This is the most famous thing here in Lisbon, food-wise. It's called pastel de nata, and it is a Portuguese custard tart. I grew up eating custard tarts in England. They were my favorite. These are the step up. Look at that, an artisan custard tart, famous here in Lisbon. We are at Mantegaria. I've probably butchered that. It's supposed to be the best Portuguese tart in Lisbon. Enough of my dribble. Let's get on with the taste test. Here we go. Mm. <laughs> that is lovely. That is so crispy. And you bite through to the soft, sweet egg. It reminds me of creme brulee. You bite through the top and really, look at that. It's creamy. You don't get an eggy flavor. It's just like a lovely, soft, warm custard. And with a little bit of cinnamon, this might be my new favorite sweet. So Adam said he grew up eating custard tarts in the UK. I didn't. I've never tried one. Oh, that's fair enough. So this is um, a, a completely new experience for me. Yeah. Um, and the quality looks amazing. Yeah. And I can't wait to tuck in. Oh, so right. here we go. Right. For it. One, two, three. <laughs> wow. What do you think of that? That is one of the most comforting things I've ever tasted. That is delicious, isn't it? Light custard flavour, crispy on the top. The pastry is just oh. so crispy. Light as well, isn't but it? But light and um, gooey in the middle. Lovely. What do you give that a 10? 10. 10. 10. Mm. No shadow of a doubt. 
That is a 10 out of 10, guys. Mm. Cheers. Cheers. Okay, so we're in Graca 77 yeah. and we're about to try some Portuguese tempura. Yeah. Pexinhos de Horta. Not sure if I said that right. Actually yeah, got it right, guys. <laughs> <laughs> and they actually introduced tempura to Japan in the 16th century. Amazing. So it originates from here. Yeah. So it's green bean inside a batter. Yeah. And we've got some vegan mayonnaise. Oh. So I might just try the tempura on its own. Go for it. Looks, oh my it's god. It's slightly different to normal tempura, isn't it? It's got a herb in it. Has it? Mm hmm. That is so light, so crispy. The bean inside is so juicy. Mm. Delicious. The perfect snack. Wow. The um, batter is very different to the tempura that I know. Look at that. That's quite possibly the best tempura I've ever had. Really crispy, not greasy at all. Let's go for a bit of mayonnaise. Yeah, garlic mayo with it. Delicious. Yeah, absolutely lovely. Like Corin said, the perfect snack. Have to try these when in Portugal, guys. Completely different from the um, Japanese tempura. Look at that. Now that's a bean. So guys, Gracca 77, when in Lisbon, eh? Is a must. Delicious, quality food. Quality eh? food, yeah, and the staff are oh, so, so friendly, friendly welcoming. Yeah. So tasty, delicious, yeah. delicious. de mondo, bolo de chocolate. Melo de mondo, bolo de chocolate. And I think that translates to... The best ever chocolate cake in the world. Let's tuck in. Yes. This cake can only be bought in Lisbon. There are three places in the world you can buy it. That's and crazy. here it is. Three places. Oh. All three in Lisbon. So it's a layered chocolate cake with little bits of meringue inside, I think. It sounds and looks delicious. It's a chocolate <laughs> overload, guys. Which I love. And uh, you might be wondering why we're wearing different clothes. It is a different day. Yes, and uh, we're continuing on this uh, delicious food Lisbon tour. food tour. So we've got a, a Melo di Mondo di Bolo di Chocolate cake. <laughs> or have I said cake twice? Can I just tuck in now, please? Go on, go for it. Right, let's have a look at this thing. This is what you call breakfast in Lisbon. Right, slice. Ooh. Right, anyway. cheers. Here we go. Oh my god. That's like ice cream. That's like a party in your mouth. Isn't it? Do you think that's a little bit like ice cream? It like, feels frozen in the middle. I think they've, they've chilled it. They got it out of the chiller. The freezer. Yeah. It's like, yeah, like chocolate ice cream in the middle. But I imagine that's like chocolate cream. It's so tasty. Oh, it's a chocolate overload, guys. It's so, get out. Mm. <laughs> it's mm. so light. Mm. And the chocolate flavour is intense. Mm. It's and you get a tiny little crunch inside of the meringues. Mm. Delicious. Yeah, like little pockets of lightness, isn't it? Cheers. Oh yeah. Cheers. We're really getting into the Portuguese way, guys. Yeah. This uh... sitting, eating cake, and <laughs> coffee. drinking coffee, and eating natas, and enjoying the sunshine, and mm. yeah. You don't even like sweet things. I like this. <laughs> you like chocolate, you've got to come to Lisbon, guys. Because yeah. they do the best ever chocolate cake in the world. Period. So Lisbon, great food so far, great food, loving it. 
Anyway, we've got back to our Airbnb, doing what we like doing best, eating some more food, but specifically cheese and wine. Vino Verde, green wine. It's not green as in the color green, it's actually clear. It's got a slight natural fizz to it. Oh, that's really light. Butler. Here we are, madame. Oh, well, thank you very much. Lovely. And we're not alcoholics. You know, we're doing this just for... I'm not, anyway. We're doing this for the tube. Mm. And that just hint, like... Just I'm a not little a, tickle of bubbles. Yeah, it's nice because yeah. I'm not a goer on really bubbles. Really busy, yeah. No. Anyway, we've got some cheese to try. What do you reckon of this one, guys? Tijero de Serra. Is that um, a popular cheese here in Lisbon or Portugal? Guys, let us know. Oh, look at that. We got this from the local butcher. Yeah, we did. Right, in, in I go. In she goes. Reminds me of a goat's cheese. Oh. I don't know if it is goat. I could have that completely wrong. Um, let us know. Is it a goat's cheese, this one? Very mild, delicate. Um, that's what it reminds me of. Yeah, goat's cheese. Lovely. Anyway. We need to get on and start drinking this vino verde, okay. green wine, and eating this cheese. Mm -hmm. But we've had a great time. Yes, we have. Anyway, be sure to check us out on the next video. I'm Adam. I'm Corinne. And we are... Jamesy Boy Experiment. Cheers. Cheers.